has come to start a game I have never ever played before. I haven't, I did go into the settings just to, um, all right. Why, why are you being like this? Dual shot controller. Okay. All right. That could be a problem. None of my face buttons are working here. Um. Naturally, because I wasn't, I didn't. They were working. Uh, before. Because I, I was uh, manipulating this stuff. Whew. All right. Um. Quick fix. Do I have a micro USB cord that's long enough? This should work. Uh, it's this one, right? Yep, okay. Although this might mess with my... Crap. All right. I gotta, I gotta go into my Bluetooth settings here on my computer. I apologize. Um, actually, here's a question. What's up, doggo boy? So the answer to that question is yes. The buttons are working outside of Firewatch. So let's uh, reload the game. Twenty nine packages. Just gonna reload it real quick. Come on, big picture, work with me here. Come on, please, big picture. There we go. All right. I'm really hoping so. I'm I'm very excited to play this game. Yeah, she likes uh, cruising through. Okay, we're gonna. Do this this way. It looked like X worked that time. Huh? Here we go. I want to see what information I'm given. Uh, before I turn it off. Tell me if you're getting an echo of game audio. This seems like a quiet game. see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with, our, with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? I'm gonna go with that one. You slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool. You reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn? You asked. She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Hooray! R2 to use objects. Look, I got hands. What is... Okay. What is this mapping? Ho hold on. <laughs> nice. Glad to uh, 
help you make informed decisions. Red trigger, red trigger, red trigger, red trigger. So... Why... Uh... I got it on sale. Um, it should be around 20 bucks, but I am not sure. What happens if I do gamepad? Okay. Now maybe it's working. Okay, there's no other car, so I guess that is mine. I like messing around with stuff in games. Yeah. I wonder if the like Xbox charges for to to host games. You know what I mean? So it's still not working. Um, I didn't get a chance to, to test drive this uh, before going in, and that is why this is happening, and I'm sorry. So right trigger rotates me left left trigger rotates me right you gonna close the bed there Hoss? you did for over a year she drives you absolutely nuts it's great you move in you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains you two drink beers out on the deck you drink beer just about anywhere life is good Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. We have to go with... We have to go with Bucket. That's what I call my wife. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. I knew you were going to say that. 1979, you talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off, the, off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. One day, why rush? That's who I feel like the character I'm playing is. She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. I see why you're saying that. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Out of doors. So, can I walk off in this direction? Oh, good. Fire danger is high today. I get it. Th I get the sense there's no vault uh, fence button. Yeah, no, he really, really went to town on it. See, I told you what would happen if you didn't close the bed, dude. Welcome to the Thoroughfare Trailhead. I like this zoom thing. Can we see the map very well? Cool. In we go.
1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Well, I'm not sure yet, to be perfectly honest. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You call her an in inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it. And it hurts her feelings. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. Two Forks Lookout Tower. Eight more miles. Okay. It says X, but it means circle. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking Bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. There you go. There's your horror. Bucket gets kicked. Julia gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. I think we're going to beat his dead gum face in. That's the one curse word I won't say. Your arm gets, cuts up, gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Probably, I wonder what would have happened if we had gotten the German Shepherd. We're going to uh, agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Maybe we should talk to someone about it and make or make macaroni drink wine and try to forget about it let's try to talk to someone about it after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they're worried that julia might be suffering from early onset dementia she's 41 you both decide to keep it a secret for now Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes to a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, someone, somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. I'm determined to take care of her by myself. 
Although that is tempting. Oh, I'm crossing a log. <laughs> It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. chair in front of the bedroom door. Uh, Julia is getting worse. We're taking care of her full time at home. Uh, I've, I've gotten into the habit of staying up after she goes to bed and then I that habit developed into going out uh, after she goes to bed. Isn't this awful? I didn't know we were doing this. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10! Ooh. And are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Somebody's got to let Julia out of the room. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. Let me know what happens. You take it. myself. Has she killed three ex-husbands? Is she rebelling against her mom? Or can nobody back home stand her? I want to say you've killed three ex-husbands. Where she is.
Title drop. Okay. See me at my desk? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Looks like a tongue. No, it's almost four thirty. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, light things. Uh, so it's this. Okay, yeah, they see it. This is the Osborne Firefighter, invented in 1914 by W.B. Fire, uh, Osborne? Osborne. Compass. What? Which one's down on the deep pad? Okay. Uh. Between streams, I'm gonna figure out how to fix this. I may need to install a third-party driver, apparently. Uh, maybe Steam is confused by what my controller is. Uh... I don't I really don't understand why this isn't working. Um because I need you to confirm. I know, I know. Ah, uh, come on. I'm, I'm out of buttons. None of, none of these buttons are doing what I want them to. Uh, so we're going to switch to a keyboard and mouse here because that should just work just like the controller should have just worked stand by So, now, oh dear, um, that good old fashioned Taco Bell burp really just what I needed right then. So, now 
let's look at what our controls are. Um, left shift to raise radio. Uh, WASD, R to toggle jog, right click to zoom, M for map, N for compass. Okay. Let's, um, put that away so that we can, can we open the door? No? Okay. So, west, this is west. Uh, what did we say? Left shift to raise radio. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. There we go. NFS cash box 306. Secure. Secure is literally what I was thinking. So what information do we have at our disposal here? We have 0.7 miles to Jonesy Lake on that. Our map. I like how this works um with cache 306 that's nine let's see where where did i start uh there's 306 i started at two forks lookout i thought that was uh the other person where is she Thoroughfare lookout, maybe? No, yeah, she's at Thoroughfare lookout. So, I'm trying to get to 306. So I should just follow this uh, northwesterly trail here. Um, which means, yeah, I just take this. There we go. There we go, there's Ron. <laughs> Tum -ti tum Good thing my cursor's here. Oh. Hmm. Can you hear me? There we go. Sorry. I didn't realize. I jostled my uh, USB hub when I was moving some stuff around. Um, and so I guess the um, capture card came unplugged so check it out the map and compass work like this um and you right click to mouse around my cursor shouldn't be visible right now um that's just because i switched on the fly and uh i'm gonna try electing not to worry about it if it's bothering you let me know Um, I guess we want to go this way. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So, it's rude when it comes to getting past it. Mm -hmm. Screw it until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever increasing list of responsibilities. Okay, let's... Where's Jonesy Lake? Jonesy Lake...
looks like I'm right on top of it, actually. Okay. <laughs> Want shift to be run. Yep, there it is. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Yeah, we joked about it being secure. That was escape, but it works. Uh, you can put that... Okay. Not sure what eating that would do. Now, how do I know where the fireworks are? I do want to turn off, um, location on map because that's the point that's like kind of what I'm doing here so I am at cash uh, what's it 306 all right fireworks I would love to get lost really for real um, I did not follow what I would need the rope for, and can I climb that? Doesn't look like it. They're getting louder, so I guess I'm going in the right direction. I really feel like I should be able to see them. Very strange. Oh, there we go. Sorry. It's not the computer that's running it. I will tell you that. What? What are you doing, laptop? Alright. Well, space bar to repel. Those are the commands that I live for. Down, please. Oh dear. You okay, Henry? Let me know if it's just as bad, please, because if there's something I should be doing on my side, then I would like to. Fireworks, where are they? I think they were this way. Yeah. 
Henry, come on. How'd we, how'd we get here? What? There we go. Okay, all right. informative. This is a hell of a camping spot. Oh! Save for later. That's mine now. holding it? This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, I see how this works now. Is Alright. Good. Well, I will take that. I can do. Two pairs of clothes. I know you guys are sending up bottle rockets out here, okay? Love me some. Love some drunk teenagers. Got that right. Are we done talking to them? Yep. All right. Back to the lookout then. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh, so... Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake? Like diphtheria or consumption? Or... Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, there's Jonesy Lake, jeez. I'm further than I thought. So I need to be headed east. Not whatever direction I just started walking. Is there... Uh... Yeah. Okay. So the water that feeds into the lake comes from the east. And then at what point do I turn south? Whoa, geez. All right. Um, mm, let's not do this this way. Let's bend. Let's just take the trail. So that was interesting. Didn't realize we'd be saying the F word this much. Doesn't bother me that much. I just wish I'd known that's what I was getting into. You got something to say about the trail sign? That's true. Can't come back. Can't go back the way we came here. Forgot about that. So then we do follow the trail. Dooby 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 doo. So that's how we actually look at our compass. Nice. I was about to start talking, but okay, Delilah. Oops. No, I meant... Oh. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. No, I wanted to... Okay. Whatever. I was, I was ready to... But no. It's fine. I like this art style. I like, um, I have a lot of respect for any game that, like, takes place in the real world, but doesn't try to not be realistic. Hey, 
close to home and convenient, though. Sorry, Hank. There's, There's some, some guy, guy out here. here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. I am enjoying this dialogue. Can you jump, Henry? Jump! Yeah! We really didn't break anything when we fell earlier. That's good. This is a great time so far. I wish I could be using my controller, because that's what I'm more comfortable with, but... Where are you, guy? I can I can hop, drop down. There's a bench down there. That was a long way. Dude. I thought this was thought this was a bench. That's this is going to be the way out of uh, the canyon if we didn't take the cave, I think. So I'm wasting time now. And I just walked up this. So let's climb back up. Woo, that was kind of dizzying. Now, east is that way, but do we see a, like a tower? Maybe it's up at the top here. Don't want to get my keyboard sticky. One of the first things that happened to me in college was I spilled Mountain Dew Voltage on my, um old laptop keyboard and it was sticky for the rest of its life nothing anything could do about that and when it was cold it was stickier which was weird i mean it makes sense because you know things like freeze but you could you know i always like really knew that the the seasons were changing because my my zero key on my numpad would stick and it would like too. It was it was really bad. Oh, look, the trail is closed. This way that I came from. Damn, Henry. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, took care of the black path. It was backbreaking, but. Uh, so, yeah. Wait, that's actually just my tower, isn't it? Come on. You're not gonna give me a... Okay. Well. <laughs> what are you doing, Henry? What a name. I 
is worse. So this outhouse. Good. Yep, that sure is an outhouse. So this generator is all the power I got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. The voice actor for Henry sounds familiar to me. I can't place it yet. But, oh, let's go. Well, that's weird. It says that I have a, I mean, it seems like I have a, a dialogue option there, but apparently I don't. What? No, no, not down there. Don't. Where was the broken glass? Here we go. Someone broke in. Hey, what? It just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. No. Throw it back on the floor, Henry. That's good. So is my typewriter going to be down there now? to go look for the typewriter oh well i'm i'm having a lot of fun i knew i would but uh this is this is fascinating good henry went and got it i'm awake i got an achievement but i can't read it if we'd be correcting her on that.
So the cave was Do I want cave 452? I think so. Because there's the locked door. All right, sweet. So I actually want to head north from here and then keep going north. I wonder if this black dotted line is the um the communication lines. Cool. Yeah. Honestly, we're 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 headed I was actually facing the right way too. Cool. All right. Map skills. So how's everybody doing today? Hope it's not too hot. Good, somebody moved that. This is precarious. I like his green shoelaces. Not gonna lie. Faster, Henry, faster. Uh, headed for the cave. Let's just walk around. Good! Glad to hear it, Doggo Boy. Uh. Ooh. Here's the good. <laughs> when navigation is the challenge, I second guess myself. Wait, what are we doing here? There we go. Oh no, I'm going to listen. Who sure. and about what? Would you? Let me Interesting. I wanted to hear those, what he would say, but I don't really think that that's actually what he would have said. You know what I mean? Looking for downed power lines here. And I want to make sure I'm heading north, because right now I'm not. Ooh, look at that. Found power lines, though. What was that? Well...
They're communication lines, aren't they? Not power lines. Come on, work with me here. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? It just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, I'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Wow, five miles to thoroughfare. This is some pretty serious walkie-talkies. Oh, isn't it nice to be outside for once? Oh my goodness, how far do you want me to go? Tooth. Um, yeah, we're going to go all the way to the top of this map here. Nifty. Oh, I thought that was a building. Jeez. Alright, so... There's a good dose of snark in this writing. I'm very into it. Oh! Ah! Uh, yeah! That's fair. Found it. Oh, look, that's me. That's uh, that's two in a row here. I didn't, I didn't get them for a while, and then uh, yesterday and today, I pointed at my chat.
All right, back towards my towers. Due south. A lot of this is kind of wholesome. Wandering around in the wilderness, picking up litter. I want left shift to be sprint really badly. That's why I keep going like this. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Not seeing any cans here, and that's a long drop. So let's check the other way. can't do anything about that apparently so we have to go the way that I didn't I feel like this game would be neat in VR but I haven't played a ton of VR so I'm not very familiar with the limitations of it and I know I, I know that one of the limitations of it is that moving around uh, while you're body isn't moving around is not something that your body likes. Can't wait. So... Interesting. Two miles to Joni Lakes. Jonesy Lake, excuse me. Two miles, 2.1 miles to Two Forks Fire Lookout, which is where I live. It's weird that we're out of litter. we got here oh fresh rope all right Can't go back up there. Well, huh? Oh, you finished your thing? Down we go. I forget that you have to input down. I want to see what that would have looked like in third person because I don't think you needed to. Whoa! 
lean that far back was the end of that sentence. Good job, Henry. You got it. This is a more specific map. Interesting. Dave. Oh, 61686. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that ha hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. I'll keep it. Why not? I'm a pack rat. Oh, that was... Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Can I keep it? That one I can't keep. Okay. Throw it, Henry! No? <laughs> All right. Cool. That's 241. Sorry, somebody from my restaurant job just texted me. Okay. I'm currently busy. It has nothing to do with today, so we can leave it. Then plume of smoke. Yeah, I hope so. Burned a tree, huh? Can't, can't talk about it. Got a sign here. I think I... Don't think I just walked a mile. Uh, interesting. So we're still trying to get up there, right? Uh, so let's mosey on over this way, and we're not going to be able to climb these rocks. Scramble, Henry! Scramble! But no. Uh, compass isn't helping anymore. We have landmarks. Jack? It's exactly what I was thinking. was not prepared for this to be genuinely funny. Uh, where did she say they were? Did she say they were on Mule Point? Uh... 
feel like maybe they were past it. Maybe I should go around to the north instead of uh, where I where I am. Um, although I have come all this way, and so mm, yeah, it looks like I'm right in here. So yeah, we'll turn north and see if we can't get up the other side. Just another no. Okay. This is neat. This is definitely something to play when you're awake. Yes, you were. Down we go. Oh, down we go. Down. <laughs> Again, it looks like Henry was at a hilarious angle there, and I wish we could have seen it. So, what, what direction are we looking here? That's still southwest of me. And... So maybe they are camp out by Jonesy Lake. All right, we we still need to head that direction. Um, this must be. This looks like Thunder Canyon, actually. Yeah, cool. We should be able to follow this to, uh, the lake. So do I have infinite ropes now? Is that is that how this works? That seems. Generous. Still, uh, interested in this game, Doggo Boy? I, is it, or is it a little bit more, um, walking simulator than you expected? I'm not the only one seeing this, right? What? I am going to consider that a graphical glitch, and we're just going to move on. Uh, want to go up this side here, I think. You guys like how my cursor always shows the um, inverse of whatever color is behind it? <laughs> Since it's there, I might as well talk about it. I did that on purpose. Yeah, here we are back at the lake. That's where they were last night. Thanks. Is she still the person that he loved? That's what scares me about Alzheimer's in particular. Is when something happens to your brain 
what happens? Well, this isn't the fire. I liked that completely sideways sprint, Henry. That was good. So... wild to me that we're, I'm having this much trouble getting to this. Because, I mean, in real life, I would... In real life, I would just scramble up these rocks. Well, thanks, Coil Twitch Bot. I appreciate the bits. I'm pretty sure it's, uh... Obviously, it's a bot, but I'm pretty sure Coil is a, um... Service designed to try to get small streamers to work together with each other and you have to buy into it and things. So that was an ad. It was an ad that paid me a dollar, which I'm into, but an ad nonetheless. Isn't the jar cool though? It's it's that way. Uh, I like that it's interactive and animated and things, and also that they're physics objects. Uh, follows, subscribes, bits obviously, uh, all go into get dropped in the jar jostle everything in there around. Where are you, Smoke? This feels like the right way to me, though. Oh dear. This makes me feel like I'm rather far afield. Uh, so this is cache 309. Where's that? Okay, campfire smoke. Oh, okay. I'm actually, I'm doing okay. I love that this updates. This is really cool. Yep, yeah, um... Because I didn't want to... Yeah, all right. I was afraid that this game was going to plunk a um, a dot down on the map and be like, go here! Um, which it hasn't. I'm going to keep my my location turned off for the duration of this so that I have to use um, landmarks and things. But I'm not going to change anything else. Excuse me. Hooray! What a great combination. What? So what is this adding to my map? The, I guess it's the, the best... the most efficient routes through stuff and where the trails are and things. So, bears...
That's cool. I did not know that. Put the map away. Reply in time. I didn't. Interesting how she can put that together for me. So what do, what do you think? Do I follow the stream or do I go north into the, the actual campsite? Like what my map says. I'm going to go to the campsite. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Look, I was wrong! Ha 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 ha. Let's go the way the game told me to. Some good music. Well, I can't see anything in the blinding evening sun. I wonder how the time of day works. Whether it's as you progress closer to your objectives throughout the day. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Or if it's actually on a timer. Even though those girls love the skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth down here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. How come people are going around? Can't pull it down though, huh? This is a really nice waterfall. Will I be able to tell where the waterfall is on my map? Nope. Let's keep going. Alright. I want to get into the habit of talking about uh, the other things I do on the internet. Um... And two hours in seems like as good a time as any. Actually, I'm only an hour and a half in. I forgot I got a half an hour late. Uh, a start that was a half an hour late got tied up in my head. Um, but I, I got up early today to... Only like a half an hour early. Don't get excited. To uh, make sure that I was able to deliver for Amazon. Uh, so that I could spend tomorrow writing. And then I'll tell you about that after this. Hey, what's the I sure can't get down that. So, I I made sure to be able to work for Amazon today so that I was I had already done it twice in a week, which is my quota, so that tomorrow I don't have to leave the house at all, and I can do my housework like a good housewife, which I sometimes am, and frequently I'm not. Uh, and then knuckle down and actually have a good writing session for once. Um, and th those, it used to be that I, I had, I, I was able to spend, you know, these, these three hour writing sessions on a weekly basis. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Is this actually due north? Yes, it is. Um, and my life doesn't allow for that anymore. Uh, but tomorrow it does. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? It seems like it. I swear, they must have drank four more pieces of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, I found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Well, I found some dangerous hunks. 
guess so. I wonder where they are. I like understanding how the stomping out works this time. Cool. A bloogie woogie woo. Your tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Well, I could have done that. Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's on its rocker. Whatever it did, it did not go back. You've got that camera, right? Oh. It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. There's a note here? You're thinking. Dear Psycho. Okay, that'll be interesting. But first, let's um take some for posterity. Uh, we'll get we'll get one from a different angle here, and then one more of the fire area. Cool. Now let's check out the um, dear psycho. I hope you're effing happy. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving, and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out! You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Heart. Marvelous. Oh, okay. That just... I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one for posterity. Too bad you're in a video game, Delilah. I always respect when a video game skips all the boring stuff. Because Henry just probably spent two hours in silence cleaning all of that up. <sighs> Excuse me, figuring out what fits in his backpack, how many trips he's going to have to make. You know? I wonder if I'm getting an achievement for each day. Do I already have my... Big, big fan of her.
thin mustache, I long have scar. A thin <laughs> Very much not. Don't mind your mind alone. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. Okay, I actually got a splinter in my eye this morning. Oh, well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Nice. Okay. Jumped a couple numbers there. Sorry I'm not talking as much today. Feels weird. I was wondering if we'd see him eat. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I think you're used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I'm called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California. Hey, that's your prerogative, Delilah. Right. Apparently Thanks. neither do I. Enjoy the sunset. I was. Six days later. We're picking up speed! So tomorrow I'll be posting another thousand words of fiction that gets tacked onto the end of what I already had written. And you can read it. And it'll be a great time. Oh my gosh, Lila, I'm coming. What do you want?
Hmm. Not how I would have expected that conversation to go. Hike north to the Tree of Supplies. something something Colorado but that's like 40 years from now uh map oh good That's a shame. I should have dialogue for that. The dangly th thing. This dangly business up here. But apparently I don't, so let's go back down and hit that supply drop. Was it, what, it was 251 that I'm supposed to be? It does not say. Put the map away. Get my fingers on the right buttons. Down we go. This is nice. I needed a lower key streaming session. I've been talking a lot over the last four days, and so it's nice to be able to let the game do the talking. I already went into this one. This is the one with the claw. So, I am at an intersection here. It might be... Yeah, I'm at Cash 241. Duh! So, yeah. Just follow the... Follow the trail north. And I think the dotted lines on my map there are these that I so I actually was going the right way. Yeah. 
Cool. I think... I think I'm going to write an article about this, too. Um... I want... I need to diversify the things that I write about a bit for my own sake. Um, and so when I finish a Let's Play like this, um, I think I, I want to write about it. Not like... Maybe like a book report. Not like a review. But about my experience with the game and streaming it and... Uh, Stuff like that. Narrative design is something that I look uh, that I look specifically at. Yeah, supply drop. Fifth of a mile. And so, if I have opinions about it, I should write about it. And if I don't, that is its own topic, isn't it? 60 feet that way. It's very specific. The big treasure chest. I'll be good. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to shut down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Quick question for the internet. Well, that's not good. That's real good. Sounds pretty good. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. 
had a feeling that's what we were going to do. We, I, maybe we should look for bear tracks before we cut, catch a fish. Is this how, is this how fishing works? What am I hearing? Bear tracks, looking for bear tracks out by the lake. I used to jump scares. Thank you. 
and God knows who. This is spooky. We should just get the hell out of here. I'm disappointed in you, Henry. Try again. What'd she say, Ruby? Ruby River. There's a thoroughfare basin. Got it. Here's the gate. All the way across there, Delilah? Really? Alright. Totally due southeast. But somehow up east, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's keep my compass out because I like not getting lost. It's creepy that the fence keeps shaking. I think it's just the wind. But after I got hit in the head, I got some adrenaline flowing now and I'm really not, really not into it. I'm totally into it. Hold on. I don't play horror games very often. I'm not I'm not used to sorting through these emotions. Uh, I'm having fun. The role play the role playing person in me is not into the fence shaking because it's creepy and we just got hit in the head. Climb, Henry, what? There we go. I'm wearing a scout camp shirt, actually. It's not open anymore, but this is, uh, Camp Russell is where I went to Boy Scout summer camp. It's in the Adirondacks, um, and it's where I learned how to pilot a small sailboat, and, um, what else did I learn how to do there? Fishing, swam a mile in a lake there. Life-saving merit badge. A lot of work. So, yeah, let's go south of this large 
this large landform here. So we're gonna cross Thunder Canyon. That's creepy. Ooh, oh, it's the sun going behind a tree. Woo! So, cross Thunder Canyon. We want to be headed due south right now. Boy Scouts is also where I learned map skills and orienteering. Which is part of why this is particularly fun for me. Because I don't I don't get to do this kind of thing anymore. Alright, now Why did I see words? It's weird. Alright. This is exactly what I did before. Oh my goodness. Come on, let me blaze my own trail. I didn't get to catch a fish. So is going down Thunder Canyon the only way? It's kind of lame. This is one of those embankments I feel like I should be able to walk up over. Oh, I can. Look at that. <laughs> uh, whine and you shall receive. Maybe. Uh, partially. Man, Henry. Okay. We'll go through Thunder Canyon like you want me to. I'm trying to do this a different way, but no. It's weird that you can you can get that uh, to pop up, regardless of what's between you and the tower. Does this dead end over here? Yeah, because that's... That's just going to lead right back to the same place. Except maybe not even do that, because... You might have to, like, climb. trying to decide if I can, if I climb up, uh, I'll be able to cross the gorge. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. It's just a thought. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Good answer, honestly. Yeah, jump that. Climb up this. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> it's 
Precisely what I was looking for. Now, obviously we're going to follow this path, but we're, yeah, we want to do a, a south-southwest thing, I believe. Uh, no, I wanted M. Where are we? We just climbed up that and crossed there. See how it's, it's uh, filled in now? That's nice. So if I follow this, it'll take me home. And then I just go past home. Um, although I would like to see medicine wheel here, so keep an eye out for cash 306. My elbow is bothering me, geez. Yeah, I can try to find a good angle. It goes all the way, <sighs> which is probably not good for it. Who knows? is the I think this is the trail that we there was a sign on that we pushed from the back long drop down nice orange legs that was good 800 feet all right, so this, there's the cache. This one was left open, so I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to take this with me. What am I looking for? Medicine wheel? Yeah. Directly south. Although the, the trail is southwest. And then we got to turn to the south. Here we go. Whoa. Here we are. Cool. This should take us directly to it. There's another fork, and it doesn't matter which one we take. This has Ruby River and two forks. So, I'm going to say we're right here, so directly behind me should be what I'm looking for. There's me wanting left shift to be sprint again. Is that Skyrim? <laughs> Elder Scrolls is like that? Or, um... Cool. 
We did it. <laughs> Found it. Um. So, if we go due south, there's another cache. Uh, we can hit two more caches on our way to the scout camp. Sounds good to me. Um. Oh, I need that, though. South. Cool. South, and then we want to bend... Uh, actually, it's that way on your screen. Th that way on your screen, since I'm mirrored. Uh, it'll be east. Sounds good. Got it. What if a control burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ha! Puns. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. I'm glad you're taking it seriously, at least. This is really, this is a good combination of uh, in-depth story and like explorey gameplay and just really calming just outside in the wilderness, wind in the trees, acoustic guitar, it's really good. We're going to follow the river. All right. By Richard Sturgeon. <laughs> I really am interested to read the backs of all of these books. Alright, cool. Now we want to go this way, right? We want to go due east. Hooray! And then, um... The other cache is directly due east, but it's, excuse me, across the river. So we're going to cross it while it's this little trickle. And then follow along it. Apparently we're not, we're not going to stay on the other side of it. Oh well. Oh dear, I'm running out of time. It's almost my dinner time. So, let's... I just walked in a circle. I want to go upstream. That's... Morgan and I just watched the uh, second Pirates of the Caribbean last night. So I just reminded myself of that. We have a need to go upriver. Gib says, is this a fleeting need? A kind of uh, passing fancy type of a need? And Jack says, no, it's a deep and urgent need. Something like that. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Why does that look like a... Well, that looked like a tent. That looked like a treasure chest to me. Could be that I'm playing too much Zelda. A ski? Also, map updated. There's the big tree. Alright, cool. Not sure about the one ski... One ski. 
Ah, just sitting here making myself laugh. This looked like a tent, too! That's the door! Ah, oh, that's weird. We are going east. Yeah, okay, good. So we're... I'm hoping that finding the... the firefighter dudes... Uh, will end the day. But I don't know whether it will. Did we add that to our map? It didn't say... Yeah, we did. Interesting. North and west. To the, um... Cache. Because we do have to call it... I gotta go eat dinner! Man, maybe I can't get to that cache from here. Looks on my map like I can, though. Maybe this is it. Yeah. <laughs> You're biased. What do you think of this, now that we've gotten into it, Kim Champ? I know the beginning was a little rough. Keyboard's hurting my wrist. Ooh, another note. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. It looks like moist to me. Most of the time I'd prefer to keep things, probably, pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of <laughs> fifes instead. Miss you. Dave. It is, it, it, it is, it's like a directed story-heavy scavenger hunt. Pretty neat. I'm going to keep that. Terminal 7, an accidental savior, Jane Eyre. Wait, was that what? How did I, how do I? No, yeah. Interesting that Jane Eyre is here. Pine cone. Some old toilet paper. Can I keep it? No, I'm gonna throw it in the <laughs> Aren't I a great park ranger? Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I have no idea where it's going to start me back up. Um, let's, uh, let's do this here, since we have it. It's crazy. Forest fires, man. Crazy. Lending library. That's why there's all these books. Um, like I said, I'm going to post fiction on my blog tomorrow. It's littleblueumbrellas.com. Um, I will be back for more streaming. Uh, I think 
Sunday. And that'll be Hollow Knight Randomizer. I, I'm thinking we're getting toward the end of it, but um, that remains to be seen. Excuse me. I thought I, I... It's empty, so I thought I would have gone through all of the carbonation that was in it, but apparently not, sitting forward. <laughs> Did that. Um... If you want to suggest games for me, tell me uh, how I'm doing, whether it's well or poorly or what, uh, or just want to chat, come join the Discord. There's links on my Twitch profile. Uh, that's the place that I am most accurate and up to date with my uh, stream-related social media posting. Um, I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, this is much better. And, uh, I will be posting on Facebook when this week's schedule comes out, uh, for the restaurant about when, what I'll be doing this week. I have to finish, uh, Metroid Prime 3, or I have to at least have another session of it before I do another session of Skyward Sword. Um, and the next time I do this, uh, will depend on when I have time to. Uh, if you want to help me have more time to do this, consider supporting me on Patreon, subbing, or buying me a coffee. All these links are on my profile as well. Um, and I will be back on on Sunday, like I said. In the meantime, have a good weekend. Oh, that's wrong computer. <laughs>